혼다세 타박하는 시어머니는 꾸중세 하루종일 신세 없이 꽥꽥꽥 바보같은 매난 편은 미련세 살아스러운 자식들만 내 곁에 배고같던 눈에 속길 어느새 우리 발이 되어버렸어 덕분에 주부 숙진 될거 사네 얄미웠어 정말 못 살고 있네 아들놈의 얼굴도 보기 싫어진 내 지아버지 꼭 닮았네 배꼽 같던 요내 얼굴이 이제 호박고추로 변신 I'm Peter Hitchener. Over the years, I've reported on a huge number of daredevils. They always make the news. People like Evil Knievel. But the biggest of all has to be Roy Malloy, a homegrown talent, holder of three world records, and an Australian. He lives right here with us. The only thing that I'm worried about is having to report that one day he may have been killed in one of his stunts, and also in the death toll, Irish O'Reilly. It's a 5 a.m. start now. I'm heading down to pick up uh, the mighty Joe from the train. Uh, he's been on a country run and he's going to make up part of what is the Irish O'Reilly and Mighty Joe Strongman show. So the first guys I'm grabbing are Strongman as part of this tour. Um, I've left Juliet with Mrs. Roy because uh, this one's we start to do the long haul stuff now, the, the very long distance. Um, so what is it? What time is it? It's uh, 5.13 a.m. So we head down to the train station and grab Mighty Joe. And man, he is mighty. You wait till you see him. <laughs> <laughs> one carriage, you got one carriage train. <laughs> yeah, it's just me and the driver sitting up front. <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> Mighty Joe. <laughs> Smile. Need a hand? Ah, uh, good. How did you meet Irish O'Reilly? How did I meet Irish? He won me in a bar fight. Like, literally won me in a bar fight. Uh, he was showing off at a pub, and that's a little bit my domain as well. So I took a couple of beer glasses and it was then he told me he worked as a circus strongman and he invited me to see his show and I've been performing with him ever since. <laughs> Morning. Morning. No. It really was. I was really upset. When I realized I could buy more, and I was really happy. <laughs> Morning. I want to show you something, right? And um, we, we just pulled in for breakfast at this roadhouse. Uh, as we are driving, a wind has picked up like a really solid wind. Can you see the trees out there? Can you focus in on that? And that makes my life a living hell. Because the flags that we put up all start tearing. Um, I got a fire. I, oh, I can't fire breathe in that. Um, see here, I've got little hairs on the front of my head. That I've lost them because I fire breathed in the wind for that photo shoot for the newspaper. So um, if I put my hand here, I can actually feel the glass moving. You wouldn't be able to see it, right? That's how strong that wind is. So if you can get the Australian flag out there. See the poles. So that is a fairly hardcore gale blowing up that we get to perform in. So we go. 
drinks and I sell them real cheap just so the parents can get them like we sell them at cost the same as the popcorn so Irish how long have you been uh, circusing God, most of my life I'm not even sure when I was actually born but I just know it was a lot of it <laughs> Where were you born? In Cork in Ireland. How long have you been in Australia? About seven or eight years. Why did you come to Australia? There was a buffet on a boat. <laughs> so I just sort of, you know, went with it. How did you meet, jo how did you meet Mighty Joe? <laughs> well, he was trying to steal money off some of my customers in the pub. Uh, I like to do a lot of pub tricks where I I basically just grift. So does he. So, you know, I sort of just got him on board so we can do our circus show together. I told him I'm a strong man. He said, hey, coincidentally, so am I. I'm just not very strong or much of a man. <laughs> so we're working with it as best as we can. And behind us we also now have uh, Slash. Hello, Slash. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Slash is somebody that I've known for... What, how long have I known you? About eight years? Yeah, ish. Um, a street performer, a hula hoopist, a burlesque cabaret performer. So she's coming along today and we're picking up her mother um, in the next show that we go to. So we're going to roll on from this show to the next and we're going to meet Mittens, who I've, I've heard a lot about, never worked with her, um, but we have extra call for extra performers, so we need another chick on the show and uh, Mittens it will be. Alright, no worries. <laughs> See you later. Who are you talking to, man? Great. Boy. <laughs> you were laughing. It sounded like a girl. Don't blame me that I lull while I'm on the phone. You know? <laughs> you lull while you're on the phone. <laughs> I ruffled once, but I dropped my phone and broke it. <laughs> so I just lull now. <laughs> Hey man. Hey, how are you man? Good. Hank. Hey Hank. Hey, just wondering, are you heading up north? Yeah. Yeah, can I grab a ride with you? You need a dance for me. Nah. Yeah, yeah, you need a dance. I'll give you a ride man, if you got a dance, come on, you got to earn it. <laughs> More, do it in front of the car. Seriously, go and do it in front of the car. We have donuts. <laughs> Dance! <laughs> you have no dignity. You're Excuse getting... me, sir. Are you Chunk from Goonies? <laughs> he has no dignity. <laughs> yeah, get in, man. Oh. You're trying to... Did you say they were donuts? Yeah, man. Hey, who wants a donut? Yeah, I'm in. I do. Give Slash first pick. Nah. Which one do you want? We need sprinkles. Aww, I wanted sprinkles. Aww. Ladies first. You are a lady, aren't you, Slash? <laughs> Only half. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> hurry up with the donuts. Okay. Yeah, I take have, the sprinkled one. Irish can have sprinkles. Oh, you get sprinkles. Yes, you nice. are. Take it. Go. Thanks, man. <laughs> Ready? Go. Hang on, is it catch, huh? Your beard. <laughs> I'm it for life. <laughs> What's 
It's not windy. Which I'm alright with. In 130 oh, shut up. Turn so, to recap. As we pull into the showgrounds, we've realised it's not all that windy here, which is really good. So in the 400k we've driven, um, we've lost the wind. But Big Hungry Hank stinks. Ah. Morning, mate. How are you? Good. I'm What's in there, Ari? A, a little horse? <laughs> a circus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I Ooh. get confused for that quite a bit. <laughs> Looks like something for a little horse or a little giraffe. Yeah, totally, man. Uh, what do you got? Uh, a circus. circus. We've covered this. All oh, right. <laughs> well, man, you know where to go. Thanks, brother. See ya. Cheers, man. This is just, this is a 1920s sideshow trick, yeah? It's just, it's just the promo banner. But back in the 20s, they would thread each of these eyelets with rope round and round, a spiral all the way down. What can I say, I'm lazy. <laughs> and I often do this one man, so you've got to work with what you've got, and I just use cable ties. Nice and simple. I do need a second bloke to help yep. stand this up, though. Mighty Joe! Can you grab this, brother? It started raining, I don't know if you can, you probably can't see it in the camera. So the bureau on my phone, my internet says that the weather should pass straight by us, but it's, um, we're just getting spitting now. When we left the city, have a look at this tree here. It says just no movement in the wind at all, which is good. I can, I can do rain, I don't mind rain, and the farmers like rain because it means crops, but um, uh, I, I just can't do the wind, so as long as the wind stays away, we should be all right. taking your life in your own hands. <laughs> so a staple at most of the shows we go to, you can get the airbrush tattoos. They look quite good, they're very well done. But in this town, they don't seem to want to do tattoos as such. See behind me? You can get a tattoo. An airbrush tattoo. Now, I think that they're very similar to tattoos, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll get back to you. Hey, yo. Once again, coming back at ya. Here's another one. one. MC Moe album three. three. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Everybody scream if you're 
ready for some ice cream. Let's go. So I'm going to so go. Find uh, as a hitchhiker, he's been pretty useful. So we've had him helping us set up all morning, and um, now he's running the concession stand, which is good. Uh, I think um, it's hard, a bit hard to tell if he's knocking off money, so I'm really trying to watch him. But yeah, I don't know. Got to give somebody a chance, don't you? So what I thought was originally meant to be the airbrush tattoos, no, they were tattoos, po tattoos. Best surprise of my life. Mind the concessions. <laughs> We've just lost Hank. <laughs> so we're going for a scout around to see if we can see Hank. I just have a feeling he's gotten himself into the money for the concessions. No, just want to see him and make sure. Yeah. Chinese heat releasing scented patches. Show me, show Only one dollar each or three dollars for five. Show me, show me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> they're A4, they're A4 on you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 
didn't know where you went. Oh yeah, I just went and got my suitcase. I left it here last month when I was here. What? Where did you go? Left it in the river? Just near the river. Do you mind me asking what's in it? Have a look. Oh. Yeah, okay. All um, oh wow, are you, are you going to come back and um, sell concession? Yeah. So we're in teardown mode at the <laughs> So we're in teardown mode at the moment. We're filling the trailer. Hank has these ideas. There's Hank. <laughs> Looks like Bigfoot. Um, Hank has these ideas about how to fill the trailer. I, I have my own ideas about how to do teardown. <laughs> Irish doesn't do a lot of teardown. So Hank's filling the trailer. I'll show you what he's done, right? So we've we've come in the side and he's put in the <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my Karma! Karma in your face! <laughs> Oh, have a look. Have a look. Can you come and hold this? Have a look at this. Here, hold this. Oh, hold this. Hot, have hot. A look. Have a, no, no, look, look. It's, it's just exploded. Don't come near me. I swear to God, I'll stab you. I probably could. Look at this. It's just exploded into bits. Oh my gosh. The seat as well. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>